A controversial Treaty of Waitangi display at Te Papa that was defaced by protesters last week will stay up for now. The museum reached an agreement today with the group responsible for the damage. William Tariti has the story. After making their political point, the protesters were back today, but this time determined to find a resolution. We're here to help resolve the issue um, and look for settlement and how we move forward. A member of the group used abseiling equipment to paint over the English translation of the treaty display last Monday, arguing it wasn't an accurate translation. Twelve people were arrested as a result. We're reluctant that we have had to resort to this. But today it was all about corridor, as the group and Te Papa finally came together and reached an agreement on the exhibit. Te Papa will continue to leave the art exhibit up there. Um, they will have agreed to work alongside um, Matanga uh, experts. We've listened and that uh, we know that we can do a lot better in terms of the, the treaty and, and presenting that to the public. That agreement likely wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for local iwi getting involved. Our role within it was wanting to bring these two parties together to actually have a discussion and identify at least some resolutions immediately. Tupapa also confirmed it's working on a long-term solution for the exhibit. It will inspire conversation and that it'll bring people together and it'll, it'll imbue more understanding. So the defaced Tititi translation will remain on public display for the foreseeable future. And if this week is anything to go by, it's likely to attract even more visitors than the original one. William Toretti, News Hub.